second gen Dodge Cummins 4640 and a Peterbilt is what we found so far on this abandoned farm. Now, there's a couple other things, and you guys didn't see them in the last episode that, you know, we're, we're here still, but I just didn't show them, you guys. So, there's a couple different things hiding in here. Now, a lot of people are like, squad, dude, you need to place a first gen down. You need to place a first gen down, and we need to find a per first gen. The far part of the barn finding series needs to be a f Dodge Cummins first gen, because, you know... I don't know, they're a little more, they're a little more rare than a second gen, obviously, just because they're a little older. So that's what we're most likely going to find on this farm today. And then the whole goal of this farm is to take it and then build a new farm. So what I plan to do is like keep an old classic farm out here. Maybe get rid of some of these trees, clean it up a little bit, and then kind of at the same time place down, because tr trust me, I got a new farmhouse, which will look sweet. At the same time, build a nice new farm next to it. Uh, let me go way out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> But I can place down like this log house and stuff and we're going to build a nice new farm next to it and kind of combine the farms and then resell the property. That's kind of the goal of this series. Now, dude, I love watching like barn find videos. So this is going to be another barn find. It's just so fun. Like the G Woker Farms, for example, when they it's not a barn find, but they they bought an old peat and stuff and they're going to clean it up and fix it up. That's a sweet video. There's this other old peat video where these guys found an old Peterbilt. It was just basically in its graveyard, basically. And they pulled it out with their F-450 and they drove it down the road. That was pretty sweet, though, too, watching that. So, by the way, okay, first of all, a couple old... Okay, this car, there's no way we're getting this thing out of here. It's not moving, trust me. It's part of the map. I, I just can't move that. And then we found an old plow here, too, that I have to pull out yet. It's been stuck in the weeds and stuff. I got to pull out. <clears throat> and then we have a, the Pete, right? Now, the Pete was completely different. The guy updated it. I, I wish I knew the guy's name so I could give him credit, but whoever made this doing a fantastic job on it, and they're working on improving it every day, too. So, listen to these sounds on this. If she starts, it started last time. We'll see if it starts this time. Oh, listen to this idle. It sounds so much better, too. I got to drive this down the road. Oh my gosh, I love the sound of this thing. Now, okay, a lot of people said, Squat, dude, your videos are horrible because this is a new Pete and you should have placed down old Pete. This was like the only Peterbilt I could find. I know I said it was like abandoned and stuff, but it, it is a pretty new Pete, I guess. <clears throat> I should have got an older Pete. So anyways, here's the Peterbilt. Now I can drive this down the road, so I'm just gonna place it here. 4640s loaded up. We found that last episode. 4640s loaded up. I'll probably take it back to our shop. I'll take all this back to our shop. I don't know. Sell it. Keep some of it. Let me know what you guys think. Keep the 4640. Keep the P because we can actually use this to haul different equipment. And maybe I can sell the Kenworth. You know, keep the P, sell the Kenworth. Uh, second gen. We'll see. I think I want to keep what we're gonna find today. I'll show you guys what we're gonna find today, and I think I want to keep this truck as long as we can get it working and started it was in the thumbnail you guys know what it is it's a dodge Cummins first gen let me show you guys it so it's stuck back here and then actually it's got a bale trailer on it it's got new york plates on the bale trailer but it's got a uh, a round bale trailer that will work good for it and then here's the first gen i don't know how long it's been sitting here i have no idea the story behind this it's been sitting here a while obviously it's got like bushes growing through it it's got trees like all over it and stuff. And we got this old car here. This thing isn't moving too. I, I wish I could get my hand on a placeable one of these. Like I had place these all across the farm. Make it look pretty abandoned, you know? So the first gen's here. I'll try firing her up. And then if we can, I don't know if all the tires on these things are like flat or what. Okay, they have air. They're holding air, it looks like. Yeah, okay. That side's holding air. This side is holding air. Dude, it'd be sweet in farm sim if we could get some flat tires. If we could... All I'm asking for is a flat tire. I know you don't really want a flat tire, but it'd be sweet if we get some flat tires on vehicles. Like, you're just driving down the road and then a notification appears. Oops, you hit a nail. You now have a flat tire on your tractor. It's going to cost you $1,000, you know. It'd be kind of cool, but some people would get annoyed by that. So, the Power Ram. Power Ram, 250. I think it's it's single rear wheel. It's technically single rear wheel. I don't... It, I, think it's a, yeah, I think it's a 250, so it's single rear wheel, I guess. So... What we'll do is jump in her, start her up, I guess. Okay, interior, it needs a little bit of work. Now, this was... Okay, it starts up, it starts up just like a dream. Dude, no, okay, I gotta say some things about this mod, I guess. This mod came out, like, 
early FS19. I didn't even know this mod was out, but this came, mod came out in November, so it's not like amazing or anything. And the sounds, I don't know, I'm trying to listen to the engine. It's not your true, your nice idle Cummins engine, like the Pete almost sounds like. The Pete almost sounds like Cummins. I don't know if it has a Cummins in it or what, but that is a nice diesel idle. You can kind of hear this one a little bit. But uh, the start of it, it just starts right up. But uh, anyways, okay, we will pull this thing out. If it can, we'll see. Is it manual? Uh, we can't tell. We're going to say this is manual. We got to say it's manual. Slowly pull her out. Okay, is she stuck? I'm giving her. I'm giving her juice. Okay, we're dragging a tree with us. We're literally dragging the weeds with us out of here. Come on, baby. There we go. We're pulling her out. Dude, it's almost like somebody just placed those trees on top of here. Almost seems like it. I don't know why. There we go. Come on, first gen. <laughs> this is sweet truck. Now, the tires, I know the tires are like huge and stuff. They, they need a little work, but it's still kind of cool. Like I said, this is an early mod. We're literally dragging a weeds with us in a whole tree, it seems like. We're literally dragging a tree with us right now. Okay, I need to pull that off the trailer. This would be... This, I need to get this trailer for our livestock, actually. To hold round bales, because this would work perfect. Okay, that tree's gone. <laughs> okay, we're going to pull this out of here. Now, I mean, it seems usable. Everything seems good about it. I wonder how long this trailer's been connected to the truck. It's got Bradford flatbed on it. <laughs> oh, dude. I want to buy a first gen so bad in real life. I feel like it'd be sweet for the channel. I feel like it'd be, it'd be fun in real life, you know, but... And I think it would hold its value fairly well, right? A first gen Cummins, 12 valve. As long as it's in decent shape, seems like it would hold its value fairly well. Okay. First gen is out of here. Dude, I want to use this truck so much. What, I guess we could we could haul some more stuff with it. Let's see. Does the uh has a bumper hitch? Now I don't know if it I don't know if it works. Sometimes it'll it'll show these, but sometimes they won't even they won't work. I'm curious to see if it would work because I'd pull the skid load trailer with it. But so far as the trucks, we got this. Now, this wasn't found on the farm. This was my own truck, the Duramax 05, 06. I think it's 06 LBZ. It's got the new mirrors, though. I, it kind of looks good with the... I like my trucks, like, completely stock, but it kind of looks good with the uh, the newer stock mirrors, too. Okay, first gen's out of here. Pete, um, 4640, and we're going to get that plow out yet. And the only way to get the plow out is i guess we could use the skid loader pull it out with the grapple or we could unload the 4640 quick because i totally forgot about that and hook up to the plow i totally forgot about the plow so i think that's one of the best ways to do it that's probably what we'll do i gotta dude i want to actually i'm gonna actually take the kenworth off this trailer hook up the peat that we found uh to this trailer and haul the 4640 with the peat once we do haul it but first let me unhook the trailer quick we gotta pull this 4640 off. Now, I did not, okay. Oh, shoot. In last episode, we said it didn't run at all. We said we could get it started. Darn it. Or actually, we jump started it. Never mind. we jump started it. So, we let the alternator charge the battery a little bit. 4640 is ready to go. Now, one thing about this, gotta be honest. It sounds horrible when this starts. It sounds like a car engine. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, gonna warn you now. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe a newer tractor. Kind of actually, you know what? It doesn't start with sound like a newer tractor. Tractor. I figured out what it is. It starts. It sounds like a new 8R. Is what it sounds like when it starts. Let me do it again. Think about it now. Now that I told you, think about it. Is it a car or does it sound like a newer 8R? I think it sounds like a newer like 8R. You know, 8RT. To me, that's what it sounds like. A newer tractor. Okay. Pull the 4640 around. Now, this is one of the first, like, old-school mods there is. It needs work, but I'm I'm excited for some old-school mods to come out. Okay, just slowly pull through here. Right now, I'm using my keyboard, so you can kind of see, see my steering's, like, just all over the place. The plow... Oh, hopefully the three-point works in this. I think it will. There we go. And by the way, this map is Rolling Hills by DR Modding, and this should be out... Fairly soon, I'm guessing. They got okay. I I did a map tour like a week ago, and I was talking to modding. I didn't ask him the exact date, but I asked him when it's gonna be out, and he said very soon. So I don't know how long that means. I can't give you 
an estimate. All I know is very soon, so I'll pass it on to you guys. Plow is hooked up. Ooh, I thought we'd be popping some wheelies. At least we got weights in the front of the 46. We are kind of popping some wheelies through here. Okay, this is going to get loaded up. And I'm going to switch that Kenworth out for the Pete. We're going to take the 46 back to the shop. And then start taking some of this equipment back to the shop. And then start cleaning up this farm. Because this thing needs to be cleaned up. Okay. Um, I guess I can go around it. Yeah, we'll just go around her. Slowly go around it. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. We're going to scrape my first gen. <laughs> Dude, if I scrape the first gen, that thing is going to... Oh, I do not want to do that. I love that sound of that Pete startup. Okay, we're going to back her up, put her next to the second gen. We got brown on brown. Dude, literally. Okay, you guys can tell what my favorite colors are. We got two brown trucks, and we got two maroon trucks. We got the uh, Chevy as a maroon truck, and then we got the first gen kind of maroon. Yeah, maroon reddish. Shoot, let me move this. 4640. Somebody should start a... Oh, you know what would be cool? I mean, it's kind of rare these days, but somebody should start like a TV show or YouTube series even nowadays. Who even watches TV anymore, really? But anyways, uh, somebody should start a series on... A real-life series on, like, abandoned farms. You know? Barn finds and stuff. Finding old tractors and stuff. Clean them up. I feel like uh, American Pickers kind of does that. And there's probably other TV shows that I don't know of that do that. But I would definitely be down to watch it, you know? Basically what we're doing here, but in real life. Okay. <laughs> Is this gonna... Do I put the plow down? Or do I just leave it up? Oh no, we cannot we cannot put the plow down. I think I gotta leave it up, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. I don't know, actually, I might not be able to drop it right here. Sometimes it doesn't let you Yeah. So what I gotta do is attach to this and then I can unhook it. Keep backing up here. Bag her up, bag her up. We're attached. Okay, now I'll pull forward. And now I'll drop it and I'll hook up the big Pete. Perfect. Um, okay, Kenworth's just gonna... I'm gonna have to pull in the driveway for now. Because we can't just leave this stuff on the roadway. Back her up. Yeah, I've told you guys this a couple times, but someday, it'd be like... It'd be... It'd be kind of a... More of a hobby. But to flip... To flip, like, farmland or hunting land. Like, take crappy hunting land. Make it real... You know, just take horrible timber ground... Clean it all up. Come through with a, a skid loader and a brush cutter. Clean up all the junk and stuff. Clean up, like, everything. Clean up the whole timber. You know, guessing it would be, like, a you know, a 30-acre partial. Clean all the timber. Maybe dig a couple ponds. Bring in a small little nice cabin, you know, that could hold, like, three people, three hunters or something. And then flip it. That would be, like, my dream job. I'm sure that would be a lot of your guys' like dream jobs and stuff. But that's what I thought about doing. Here in Iowa, there's, like, southern Iowa hunting land that's, you know, Early, it's uh, low price compared to some other ground, I guess. Okay, hold on. Second gen is not what we need. We need the Pete. Jump in the Pete. I mean, get it moving. <laughs> this, okay, and then also, a big issue on this Pete was it kept getting stuck because only one of these rear axles were actually driving or were actually pushing. So it kept going stuck, and you guys didn't see that because I cut out the parts where I kept getting stuck, but he also fixed that. So so now, it shouldn't get stuck as much. I don't know what else he fixed. I think the tires, tires look a little more beefier in the rear. I don't know if that's something he fixed too, or he added. Okay, oh, we're a little off there. So our shop's kind of on the other side of town. We'll take it over to our shop. Uh, do I back down the, yeah, we gotta, let me see the fast way there. Actually, this will take us to our shop. It'll be a little windy, but it'll work. It'll work. Plus, we're taking back roads instead of the main highway, too. That'll be a little better. I love the dust animations. And on this map, specifically, they just look... They're realistic, you know? That's one thing I asked for for FS17 is... Can we get some good dust animations once FS19 comes? And people are doing it. I mean, probably not because they heard my video and need... And took my request, but just because they wanted them too, obviously. Doing 30 mile an hour down here. Oh, is my tractor falling off? Okay, no, it's not. I thought it was a little bit. 
Okay, we actually need to stop at this stop sign, and then we'll take a left. Slow her down. We need to hear that Drake, the Jake break going. The sounds, whoever did the sounds, man, this sounds amazing now. When there's some sections where there's some cool sounds and stuff, I try not to talk and kind of just let you guys hear them. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let me know if you guys do. I'll try not to talk when we're kind of driving and, you know, maybe you just want to see the peak trucking, you know? Okay, we got to take a left out of here. That is our foam down there. We need to head over there. I'm full throttle here, baby. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't hear the shifting. I mean, it's probably tough to get those sounds in there. Okay, we'll take a right here. Swing wide. I'll put my blinker on. Okay, yeah, you can see my blinker down there. So we'll drop the 4640 off right here. Let me, uh, ooh, okay, that'll work, yeah. Pull ahead with the Pete. We'll leave the Pete running and then uh, jump in the 46 and then probably put it in cold storage. Just a sh uh, Okay, the shop has a ton of room. We'll just put it in the shop for now. Plus, we don't like have anything in here. There we go, 46 is off. We got this, okay, maybe the plow. Oh shoot, don't go in the corn. Maybe the plow can go in cold storage over here. Actually, it could, it could probably just sit outside, but for now, I'll just... Yeah, okay, let's just let, let it sit outside for now. It'll be fine. Put the plow... What? Just... Okay, back here will be good. Just back by the shed here. And then 46 will go... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Drop her down right there. Oh, gosh. Now, the 46 will go in the shed here. Actually, no. I said I was going to put in the shop. I mean, after sitting for how many years, it probably needs a tune-up, too. We'll back her in here. Uh, oh, gosh. Are we, oh, no. Can we get over this? Okay, one thing. It's super nice having this mod, and usually I cut out this part, but I'm not going to cut it out. Oh, we can't get in here. Wait. The only way I can get in here is through this shed, and I, or through this door, and I don't know if that's going to work or not. I'm sure he's working on fixing this for the final version of this map. It's going to be close. This is not, this tractor's not meant to fit through this. Oh, it worked. Besides our exhaust is going to hit the top. Just don't look over there. Okay, it worked. It worked perfect. I can't fit anything bigger than this in here, though. It's not going to work if we fit. We try fitting uh, anything bigger. Okay, that's good. I'll probably just shut off the peat and leave it right here because we got to go back and grab some other trucks. And actually, I want to start kind of like cleaning up this farm actually so as far as what needs to be taken out too bad we didn't have a dozer mod that'd be perfect if we had a dozer mod right now could really clean this up but i'm gonna basically cut down most of these trees especially like overgrown areas like these two trees i'll probably take out some of these back here won't be bad a lot of these i'll probably take out um these small little yeah we gotta take out those most of these back here i'll probably take out and then what I plan on doing is putting a nice, just a nice shop slash shed back here and then a nice house. And then the rest of it's going to be kind of this old place. And it's going to be kind of connected a little bit. So for now, I'm going to grab these trees. I know, I'm lifting a whole tree. I'm going to grab these, toss them way back here. We got to grind some stumps yet and start cutting more trees down. But I'm going to start placing down the new house for this property here. Let's grab this. Toss it way back here. Okay, this will be our burn pile. How about? That'll be good. We don't have that fire mod yet. Hopefully we can get that soon. I'll grab this piece. Oh. I think this was one of them on the trailer. There we go. We'll toss that back there. 
and this piece. Also, some dude on Facebook tagged me in a post where there was a, uh, some dude was working on a chain mod, or he had a chain, like, model, and he was wanting to know if anybody could, like, you know, in-game it or make chains in-game, like, to tie down equipment, which will be pretty cool if that could be done, because we could use chains... I can't wait until we get like chains just that you can strap to the back of a truck and pull out a log or something simple as that. It's probably not simple to make, but simple in simple in real life, I guess. All right. Maybe that's not the best way to put it. So, um, first, what I want to do is edit this. So I'm thinking driveway here, house, house and shed over here, kind of a big lot or house and shed, house, house, shed. That'll work good. There we go. Okay, I'm just getting rid of this ditch, hopefully. Perfect. We got a driveway. Let me get out to see how that is. Okay, yeah, driveway's pretty much good. Nice. Maybe I need to make it a little wider. We'll see. Now go over here. Painting. Actually, you know what I'll do? Is because this gets a little boring. I'll just probably time lapse most of this. Okay, check out the farm. This kind of took me a little while. I love, I don't know. So you got the new farm, right? And, and when I resell this, you got the new farm here. And then you also have the really old rundown farm that they can still use. They can still have fun with, but they're just kind of divided. Maybe if they want to, when they buy this whole thing, they can split it off and sell that, you know, maybe. Who knows? But I made a nice, somewhat nice driveway. You can't get the grass like perfect here though. That's the one thing I noticed. You got the nice log house, dude. These log houses, I don't know. Ever since I was a little kid, I was like, they, I shouldn't say log houses, but I don't know. You you get what I mean. I've wanted to live in one of these like ever since I was a little kid. Like this would be a dream house. I mean, it'd be look a little different, but like the log, uh, the rustic style houses, I love them. And then we got two two sheds. This is 40 by 60 shed I put up here. I put a couple trees around here. I think we need more trees though to make it look nicer. 40 by 60 shed, gravel, tree, Kind of a little yard space. And then a 60 by 120. Let me see what this shed is. I think it's a 60 by 120. No, 72 by 150. So this is a humongous shed, dude. Let me open this up. I don't know what I don't know what you'd even want to put in there. But I mean, I guess if you're a farmer, obviously, equipment. So, oh shoot, I missed a little bit. We got some beans growing right there. We'll just say that's just like flowers growing, you know, on the side of the shed or something like that. But uh, then we got grass out here. We got a little play yard. Should have put a dog house out here. We got some birch trees I threw down here. And this is your pathway to the farm back through here. So you can just drive through here to get to the farm if you really want to. You can explore all the stuff. We still got to clean this up yet. There's some junk around here. But, I mean, I think it's looking pretty good. I, it was, dude, it was pretty fun making the, I love just making stuff with the landscaping tool. Uh, the patch, I guess. I don't know if it's coming to Xbox or PS4. Hopefully it does. I really hope it does. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. I know you guys are loving these barn finds. I love watching them. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys.